Welcome back to my channel. So it's a few days after the holidays now and I took some time off just to spend it with my baby. She's nine months old. It was her first Christmas. My family was in town from the States and we just really did it really, really nice this year. And I just didn't want to have to film or bother with filming or editing over the last two weeks. But I am back today with all things mommy again. So my first video of this brand new year, 2020, is going to be of uh, what's in my diaper caddy. Um, I'll insert a clip here to show you where my diaper caddy sits inside of Luna's nursery. I put it on top of the area where I have her change table. And we'll go through all the things that I have in my diaper caddy, things that you might be able to use if you're newly pregnant or you're having a baby or you have babies, you don't have a diaper caddy, you wanna learn how to make one. Uh, I've got all the information here for you. So let's get started. I bought my diaper caddy on Amazon. I believe it was $17.99 at the time, but this was last year. I'm sure it's around the same price. I'll try and link it down below for you guys. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it has tons of pockets on all four sides. And on the inside, we have these dividers that you can switch around different positions to like divide it into the, the sections that you would need to fit the types of things that you have inside of your diaper caddy. So first things first, diapers, lots and lots of diapers. So I use the Huggies Little Snugglers di diapers. These are a size two. I always thought that I was going to be a Pampers type person. I just thought that like Pampers smelled like a baby, just the way I thought Johnson and Johnson products smelled like a baby. But then when I used the the Pampers diapers, um, they they would stick to Luna's bum, and I don't know, I just didn't like that. So I switched to the Huggies, and I love the Huggies. And she's been in size two for maybe like four or five months now. Okay, so the next few things that I have in here are. The Baby Boo Bamboo, uh, this is the lotion. I really like this. It smells like, it smells like baby powder, but on like a, an extra level. And I love all these natural and organic products. Uh, I found when I was using Johnson & Johnson stuff, you might've seen this in one of my other videos, that it was giving her rashes and I couldn't get rid of them. Which leads me to my next thing which is the Mustella uh, Micellar Micellar Water. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've also mentioned this in a video before. Um, this I use on these cotton pads that I also keep in here. And anytime I notice that she has any sort of a blemish, any type of a rash, any type of dry patch, like literally anything that is abnormal on her skin, I use this Mustella cleansing water and it is like gone within the day. And then in the third pocket on the top here, I have these Wet Ones Antibacterial Wipes. I use these to clean up her Kikaru, which is the changing pad that I use for her. It's non-porous, so things don't get inside of it, but if like you get a little bit of stuff from the diaper on it, I use these every other day to just like wipe and sanitize the Kikaru. And then, for the times when you can't get to the bathroom right away after changing a diaper, I have hand sanitizer. I bought this huge hand sanitizer at the dollar store and it was $4 and I've had it since she was born and it's still got tons in it. So let's get into what's on the sides now. So this is the back side. These are the things that I use the least I would say. So first I have this which is like a baby nail file but it's electric also talked about in one of my previous videos. Um, I cut her, her fingernails with, with fingernail clippers, but her toenails, for some reason, they're like a lot harder for me to grasp with the, uh, the nail clippers. So I prefer to use this and it works really well. You just file the nail down, it doesn't bother her. She, she doesn't like try to swat it away or anything. I also got this on Amazon. Uh, but it was part of my baby registry. Next is this Honest Soothing Bottom Wash. This one I got from Walmart. I believe it was about $10. So this is good for refreshing your baby's bottom. So sometimes you get those gnarly poops that like go up the back and all those gross things. 
If you spray this on, it makes the poop so much easier to wipe off. It's especially good for those poops that like are just stuck to the bottom and they're so hard to get rid of. And like even with wipes, you, you just feel like you're going to make the baby's butt raw from wiping them so much. So I like to spray this on and it leaves like a super refreshing smell. It's like a vanilla, I think it's orange vanilla to be honest. Okay, so then on the next side, we have boogie wipes. So Luna really, really, really hates having her, her boogers taken out of her nose. Um, these I find do help a little bit. I think maybe the smell of it is a little distracting to her and also the purple color of the, the packaging sometimes help with it, but she literally like screams her head off. If you guys have any tips for like how to get the boogies out of your baby's nose, like leave it below in the comments so I can, I can share with the rest of the world. Then we've also got this ear care solution. So we got her ears pierced a few months ago and on like the second night, one of them had fallen out while she was sleeping, which was totally scary when I didn't find it in the morning, but it was there. And so that hole closed up and now she literally only has one earring in, which is kind of funny. People ask me about it all the time, but I use this stuff to clean it and it's almost healed now so I can go back and get the other one done again. The next side, we have some of the super essentials. So first is vitamin D drops. Babies take these when they're strictly breastfed. Then I also have the Burt's Bees Baby, and this is the, the bum cream, the diaper rash cream. The last thing is the baby brush. I use this after her showers and stuff. She likes to chew on the bristles sometimes when I'm changing her. Uh, this actually leads me into what's on the next side. So this is all the things that I use to distract her while I'm changing her diaper. She rolls like a crazy person when you're trying to change her, when you're trying to change her clothes. Anytime she's on the, the change pad, she's just going nuts. So we use some distractions. First, I have this bird. If you press it, it makes some noise. It came from one of her like, um, like play mats where things dangle and the babies like try to hit them. But I took it off now because she doesn't use it. And then she can really be entertained by uh, a package of empty wipes. She likes to open and close the, the lid and she likes the sound of the crinkling, I think. And then I also keep two of her bath toys in here. This one's called Flick and this one's called X. Yes, I name literally everything. And then the last thing, which recently she has really, really been into is this teething necklace. It's one of the ones that the moms can wear and then the baby can bite on the, the teething part. I don't wear it, I just give it to her when I'm changing her because it seems to occupy her quite a bit. And uh, I like to watch if she's chewing on things that like, I know these aren't supposed to come off, but you just never know really. So there you have what's in my diaper caddy. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if you think there's anything that I should add to mine. Uh, all of these things are for a baby within the 9 to 12 month range. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My handle is at mrs.shelly.shoosh. And subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. I plan on doing big things this year. And I'm really, really excited to be a part of the YouTube community. So I will catch up with you next week in a new video. Bye.